farm boy are in here, we're gonna look at my solar panel setup that I have inside of my utility trailer. And that's gonna include the battery bank, and uh, which I'm surprised has lasted uh, three winters because the batteries weren't the greatest. Honestly, Harbor Freight stuff isn't always the best, but I wanted to try it with this before I did something more serious. So let's take a quick look at it and I can show you what it does and how it works for me. So for the solar panels, uh, 25 watt panels that came with the uh, Harbor Freight setup. And then I also added this really nice uh, 100 watt panel. So together I have 200 watts and they come together and I have them wired in running right into the trailer right here, as you can tell. I just cocked that in with silicone caulk. So nothing fancy. So first off, I got these really nice lights and uh, I even got one that extends out on the door right here. As you can tell, it's in the winter when batteries are not doing good. And then over here on this side, I've got the whole setup. So inside the trailer here, you can see I have the solar panels coming into the trailer from that wire that was outside. That comes into this collector of all the solar panel input. Um, again, it's just a big crappy plastic thing that collects all those weird solar panels that I got into one big bundle and goes into the charge controller, which is the brain of the outfit. So I've got my electricity in right here from all the solar panel. And then I have electricity out to the battery bank right here. That's a 12 gauge uh, housing wire that I have to my battery bank. And then you have 12 volt DC directly out from a few different spots in here. Got a couple USB ports coming out. Um, and then right here is more 12, 12 volt DC out to my fridge right here, which is completely janky. As I said, I'm awful with electricity, but I got these clipped onto my 12 volt fridge, which has been running for three years. It's amazing. And then I also have 12 volt to my inverter, which this guy is still working great. As you can tell, I love this little thing. Um, can charge computers and other stuff off of here. Um, you know, two 110 AC, and then two USB, which of course is 12 volt DC. So. Anyway, that's been working great. Uh, for the battery bank, I have two 75 amp batteries. Deep cycle, um, what do you call it? And not in series, it keeps it 12 volt, but uh, in parallel. Yeah, they're in parallel, they're still working really good. I keep some extra electrical supplies and wires under this bed too, so for troubleshooting, problem solving stuff, um, I like having the batteries under there. As you can tell, I have a board secured so they don't go anywhere, even if the trailer rolls over and crashes, like they're pretty pretty secure in there. Uh, as you can tell, for being a winter day, I still have a, almost 12 volts. This is a bad winter day, man. I mean, you saw there's snow on the panels, so it's nothing, nothing fancy, nothing great. I'm in a very cloudy part of the US, but this setup's it's hanging in there, so. Uh, I also have a fan, a little 12 volt fan right here. I love this guy, a little RV fan. Uh, for the hot days when I was out west with this trailer, I needed, uh, <laughs> we needed to cool it down in here. For those of you with electrical experience, please leave comments. For those of us who don't know a lot about electricity, uh, hopefully this helps you guys get a basic solar setup for whatever you need it for, whether it's chicken coop lighting or a little security system out in the bushes or whatever. But I really like this. I'm gonna use a similar setup on a truck, I think in the future uh, for a truck cap situation. So uh, like, subscribe, until next time, stay practically prepared for everyday life. And I have them wired in running right into the tree.